run like I don't got in the state. Yeah. I went from LA to the A. What's up, people? Here, your boy John GK. Guys, we're officially moving on. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to Dave Chappelle, uh, the LGBT community, and I think it has a bit of Kevin Hart in it. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure whether he's talking about Kevin Hart or Kevin Hart's going to be in this. Um, yes, I have heard of Dave Chappelle. I know he's a massive uh, comedy star over in America. Uh, and I, yeah, you know, I've seen a couple of his, vid of his videos, sorry, uh, I do find him quite funny, um, he talks about more, should I say, um, I don't know, he's just more backstreet, he's more kind of, uh, kind of real, kind of, um, you, you have to kind of take it, take if, if you understand him as a comedian, you have to take his jokes. You can't take his jokes literally. Um, for those of you people that aren't literal, um, and I know there are a lot of people that aren't literal and just can't take um, jokes when it comes to, I don't know, it may be your race, it may be your sexuality. I know and there's a lot of people who are sensitive towards that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and I advise you not to watch this video because it will, I'm sure that it will have some of that content in there. Um, but yeah, if you can't kind of take those kind of literal jokes, um, then maybe David Chappelle isn't the one for you because I know he does a lot of that. And he, you know, over the years he's got away with it because he was basically the first one to kind of set that in stone, I believe. He was kind of the first one to uh, play like the racist card and then just start talking about sexuality and all that kind of stuff so he's basically set that in stone for himself and he's been able to do that throughout the years i know for a fact there are other comedians that have to sign a contract and there are certain things you can't say as a comedian um just you know depending on the audience you have also uh but yeah man dave Chappelle, uh co you know comedy legend um like i said michael jackson fans um apologies again um, I, I do hope you enjoyed the last video man i thought it was a really good video the last video but anyway guys we're moving on to some comedy now um not just dave Chappelle, there are going to be others coming our way also so yeah guys without further ado let's get straight into the video I'm hunting season doesn't matter what i say they're gonna get everybody eventually like look i don't think i did anything wrong but but we'll see oh sorry guys They even got poor Kevin Hart. Can you imagine such a thing? Kevin Hart, let me tell you something. It was, it was Kevin Hart's dream to host the Oscars. That's what he told me. And I remember when he told me, because I was thinking to myself, look, it's an awfully strange dream for an African-American. <laughs> kind of nigga dreams of hosting the Oscars? <laughs> Kevin did, that's who. And he did it. Against all the odds, Kevin became the most famous comedian this world has ever seen, and he got the job that only one black man before him had. He was going to host the 80th Oscars. And I don't know what you know about Kevin, but I know Kevin Hart is damn near perfect. As close to perfect as anybody I've ever seen. In fact, Kevin is precisely four tweets shy of being perfect. Ten years ago, Kevin had made some very homophobic comments. And I'm not going to repeat what he said. Because <laughs> this is Atlanta. Oh, no. You know what I mean. I'm sure there's a lot of gay men here tonight with their wives. Oh my god, that's so bad. We gotta go back, man. Damn. I'm sure there's a lot of gay men here tonight <laughs> with their wives. How does he get listen, I man, my US fans, man, I know they're a US fan man. How does he get away with this kind of stuff? Like Because I'm telling you now. If he was doing this kind of stuff in the UK, I don't think the LGBT community wouldn't like it that much, man. Like, I'm not, so, I'm not, you know, I'm not so certain on the US LGBT community, but the UK one, boy, they go after everyone. Um, anyone that comments on it, they go after you. So, I, I mean, I don't know how he's allowed to say some of this stuff. I mean, it's funny. I find it funny because I can take literal jokes. Like, 
for example, like the, I think it was the Family Guy video. Like I could take the uh, black jokes all day and I won't feel offended. But I know there are a lot of people out there that would feel offended by it. But it's just crazy how we can joke about this kind of stuff and get away with it. I mean, and it is funny. It is. You can't, you can't sit there and not laugh because it is funny. But I guess there are certain things you can't say, right? Um, anyway, let's go. Let's continue. Far be it from me to offend anybody. All right, I'll tell you what he said. But just remember, these are not my words. That's hot. These were Kevin's words. It was a long time ago. And I'm paraphrasing because I'm not good at telling other people's jokes. Okay, Kevin said... <laughs> his little son was demonstrating or, or, or exhibiting uh, homosexual behavior around the house that he chastised him. He'd say, hey, that's gay. And then he said he would smash a dollhouse over that child's head. Ooh, the gay community was furious. And I don't blame them. I got a lot of gay friends. And all of them, 100% of them, all have told me fucking horror stories about the shit they had to go through just to be themselves. Crazy, crazy stories. And in all those stories, I gotta say, not one of them has ever mentioned anything like their father smashing a fucking dollhouse <laughs> over their head. Because clearly Kevin was joking. Think about it. You would have to buy this nigga a dollhouse to break it over his head in the first place. Does that sound right? Is anybody going to do that? Mm -mm, no. The gay community was upset, and then they put so much pressure on the Academy of Motion Pictures and Sciences that they went to Kevin and said, if you don't apologize to that community, then you cannot host these Oscars. And then Kevin said, fuck it, I quit. Oh. And then he went on every talk show in America and apologized for six weeks. <laughs> Kevin fucked up. Do you know what's crazy about comedians? It's like, I personally believe as a comedian, you, I'm not even a comedian, but I just, in my opinion, I, you know, if I was a comedian, I'd love to joke about everything, like anything and anything. And we all go through these kind of stages, like whether you're gay, straight, bisexual, like, you're always going to meet a gay person. You're always going to meet bisexual, lesbian. doesn't matter. Straight. And there's always going to be some incidents that happen. There's always going to be things that you go through when you're a kid. Uh, you know, and it's just like, how can you not joke about it? Like, it's just very hard to joke, not to joke about it. And it's it's almost like, it must be hard for comedians. Because it's like, what are you allowed to actually joke about? Like, what? Like, do you have to, you know, start joking about... You know, I, I don't know. I just don't really know how to phrase it. You know, you almost comedian. The funniest comedians are the ones that talk about real life stuff, like literal stuff, things that you see every single day, things that happen every single day, like in the, shall I say, human society. But apart from that, it's like, what else can you joke about? You can't start doing rhymes and riddles. I mean, that's not funny. You know, and, and people want to see that kind of, see this kind of comedy now. It's, it's almost hard in this day and age and this generation to kind of joke about this kind of stuff. I mean, I, you know, I'm sure 20, 30 years ago, you could joke about all this stuff and get away with it. But because people always seem to, you know, get so offended by this stuff, it's just very, it must be very hard in their behalf, man. It must be very hard. Anyway, let's go. I understand the mistake you made because I've made the same mistake early in my career. This is many years ago, 15 years ago. It's when I was doing Chappelle's show. There's a, a thank you, thank you. On network television, they have a department that's called Standards and Practices. This is the department that tells you what you can and cannot say on television. And if you're doing your job well, you should never hear from them. But if you make a Chappelle show, you'll hear from these motherfuckers all the time. And remember, this is 15 years ago. I made a mistake. I didn't even know I had done anything wrong. I had written a sketch that had the word faggot in it. <laughs> That's so bad. So I had to go to standards and practices. They call me up. I don't know why they're calling me, but I like the lady that runs the department. She's usually really fair and was one of my favorite people I've ever worked with. So she sits me down. We have a nice conversation. She tells me, oh, the sketches are great. I go, oh, fantastic. Well, then, well, then why am I here? She said, because David, 
There's no way that you can ever say the word faggot on our network. I didn't know I did anything wrong. I didn't try to defend myself. I said, all right, fuck it. I'll take it out. Have a good afternoon. And I was leaving and it occurred to me. Hey, hey, Renee, quick question. It's just a question. I, seriously, I want to know, like, why, why is it? Why is it that, that I can say the word nigger with impunity? <laughs> That's so true. That is true. That is so true. Honestly, sorry. That is that is so true. Honestly. But I can't say the word faggot. <laughs> and she said, because, David, you are not gay. I said, well, Renee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a nigger either. Oh my god. This guy. Jesus. But you see, what I didn't realize at the time and what Kevin had to learn the hard way is we were breaking an unwritten and unspoken rule of show business. And if I say it, you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. The rule is that no matter what you do in your artistic expression, you are never, ever allowed to upset the alphabet people. <laughs> you know who I mean. Those people that took 20% of the alphabet for themselves. I'd say the letters, but I don't want to conjure their anger. Ah, it's too late now. I'm talking about them L's and them B's and them G's and the T's. People be surprised. I have friends, all kinds of letters. Everybody loves me and I love everybody. I got friends who are L's, I got friends who are B's, and I got friends who are G's. But the T's hate my fucking gut. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't blame them. It's not their fault. It's mine. I can't stop telling jokes about these things. I don't want to write these jokes, but I just can't stop. <laughs> you know, you hear all those letters together all the time. L-B-G-T, L-B-G-T. And you think it's just one big movement. It's not. All those letters are their own movement. They just travel in the same car together. And my guess is What is this? High school this nigga probably got a babysitter or something. Go and answer your phone, nigga. Just get that shit out of here. I'm in the middle of something important. Wouldn't it be funny if we made fun of him? He's like, ah, and he went outside like, hello? Mama's dead. Oh no! Mama's dead! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! That's a oh. weird time phone call, wasn't it? It's like his phone is dead. Oh. oh my god, man! This guy—he just doesn't stop. Jeez. This guy. <laughs> like I was saying. Bro, you can actually see some people in the audience just like not even laughing. Like their face is just dead on like, mm, like silent. I don't know, man. I don't even know what the comments are going to say. Like I said in the, um, at the beginning, like those of you, sorry, those of you that get sensitive over this stuff i advise you not to watch it um i find i find these jokes funny but that doesn't mean that um i would take any offense to the lgbt community or anything alone or, you know whatever this video is about i'd never do that um but yeah the jokes are funny so those of you that aren't liking it i suggest you just stop watching this video because it is um, some of Dave Chappelle's work it is quite sensitive stuff and it is quite literal um, But you can even see in the audience here man like you, you got this guy over here like he just straight on face yeah, It doesn't mean to say that he doesn't find the jokes funny, but it just might not be his cup of tea if that makes any sense uh, But yeah, let's keep going 
The G's are driving that car. That makes sense to me, because there's white men in the G's. And these people are trying to get around uh, discrimination and oppression. And you know how white dudes are. We know these roads. <laughs> we built these roads. <laughs> the rest of you buckle up. We'll get you to where you want to go. So the G's are just driving the car. Of course, next to the G's in the passenger seat is the L's. Everybody likes the L's, except for the G's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I just know the G's don't like them that much. And the G's always say like little subliminal digs on them. It's unnecessary shit. It's not mean, but you know what I mean? They just be like, oh, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I've never heard of that. The tension between the L's and the G's are the B's in the back seat. That's right, there you go. Everybody scream out when you hear your letter. <laughs> if it's one thing that the L's and the G's agree on, is that the B's are fucking gross. Oh my God. They seem greedy to the L's and the G's, you know what I mean? He's just sitting in the back seat like, yeah, man, I'll fuck anybody in this car. What's going on, man? <sighs> and sitting next to the bees, all the way in the back seat by themselves, looking out the window. That's the tease. Everybody in the car respects the tease, but everyone also resents the T's. It's not the T's fault, but everyone in the car just feels like the T's are making the trip take longer. <laughs> <laughs> anything the T's say gets on everybody's nerves. And then the T's don't even say anything bad. They should be in the back talking to himself. Hmm, I'm hot. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just roll the window down, you bitch. I don't know what you... Oh no! Just said I was hot. Oh! Can you pull over at the next exit? I need to use the restroom. <laughs> there is not a restroom for you for four states. Oh my God! The fuck up so we can get where we're going. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Oh! Just when that car can't get any more tense, the cues are a hitchhiker that they pick up on the road. Some white dude in booty shorts is walking down the freeway. <laughs> oh. Jeez, see him. That guy might be one of us. Hey, are you okay? You need some help? And he come over there with them booty shorts leaning on the window. Hey, it's going on, fellas. Lady. Whatever pronoun makes you feel comfortable in the back. Oh. Yeah. I don't really know where I'm going. What? I don't know if I'm gay or I'm straight or whatever. All I know for sure is that um, I really want to get in this car. And they make this him guy sit in between the B's and the T's. I feel bad for T's, but they're so confusing. And it's not all my fault. I, I feel like they need to take some responsibility for my jokes. Because I didn't come up with this idea on my own. This idea that a person can be born in the wrong body. But they have to admit, that's a fucking hilarious predicament. It's really fucking funny. And if it happened to me, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? That wouldn't be funny if it happened to me. I think it would be. What if, what if it did? What if, what if I was, what if I was Chinese, but, but born in this nigga body? That's not funny. <laughs> For the rest of my life, I had to go around making that face. Hey, everybody, I'm Chinese! <laughs> and everyone get mad. Stop making that face. Oh, my visible. God! This is how I feel inside. 
Oh no. Man. Oh my god. Dave Chappelle, man. Jesus. Ah, oh, my reaction to that. I mean, hey, it's Dave Chappelle, man. He's a legend. Um, that was funny, man. That was hilarious. Um, I know some of his old work is way more funnier. Uh, like I said, that is that you know that show was funny. That video was funny. Um, there were some parts I didn't feel like was right to react to because, like, I know a lot of. You know, not a lot, but I, I've known, I, you know, I've had gay friends. I've had people I know who are bisexual and stuff. So there are some moments where you kind of feel resentful. Like you kind of resent the laugh. It's almost like, oh, come on, you can't really laugh to it. But inside, you know, it is kind of funny. And it even the joke when he was talking about the uh, the N word kind of thing. Oh, I'm not allowed to say this, but you're allowed to call me this. Like it, that's so true. It actually is so true. Like you see it all the time. Um, like the transition between like the LGBT community and like the whole Black Lives racist thing. Like it's so true, man. Like you're allowed to say one thing, but then you can't say another thing. Like man, this whole kind of world is corrupt anyway like i'm not going to get into a big debate about it. it's corrupt there's things you can say that you know it doesn't sound right but it's something you can't say and it's like well you know why can i say this and can't say this blah 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 like it just goes on and on and on um but man this guy is hilarious um i'm definitely going to be reacting to more uh dave Chappelle videos i know there are funnier i'm not saying that this one went funny but i know there are other videos out there where he is funnier um like i said for those of you that you know, resent with LGBT community um, and find these jokes offensive, please do not watch this video. Like, it's not for you. I don't want you to s sit and watch this whole entire video and then feel offense to it. I'd rather you not even, um, you know, like in the intro, don't even go past the intro. If you're at this point, then, you know, I, even though I'm saying it now, if you're at this point, then you obviously don't care and you don't mind the jokes, which is cool, man. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, that was Dave Chappelle. There's going to be more coming. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Remember to hit the notification bell so you're up to date with the latest content. Guys, here's your boy, John GK, and I'll see you guys in the next video.